Hey guys, it's iPhone XS release weekend, and like a lot of you, I stayed up late on September 14th, um, midnight, so that I could pre-order my iPhone XS Max Gold. And luckily, I got an 8.30 to 9 a.m. release pickup window at my local Apple store. Um, the morning of the 21st, I got up early, was heading out the door, and decided to check my email. Thank you for your recent order with Apple Store. We know you're excited to pick up your new product. Yep, unfortunately, due to some last minute logistical issues, your order will not be ready for pickup during your check-in time. What kind of bullshit is that? So, since I was already dressed, we decided to go ahead and go out and have breakfast and probably drop by the Apple store to see maybe if I'd be able to pick it up anyways. Maybe the email was sent erroneously um, or maybe they would have gotten it in and everything would be cleared up. So that's what we did. We had breakfast. Afterwards, we went to the Apple store and it's kind of cool to go to the Apple store if you haven't done that yet on launch day. You get to see the crowds, the excitement of people getting their new devices and um, this launch was going to be especially uh, exciting because not only did we have the Apple 10s, we had the Apple 10s Max with the larger screen and the Apple Series 4. So there was a lot to be excited about at the Apple Store. I figured they have a huge crowd and long lines, um, and this is what I saw. literally crickets there was no one in there you can see they had the barricades laid out uh, there were a couple security guards supposedly anticipating a large crowd which wasn't there um, it was like a ghost town almost I mean this was the emptiest I have seen any Apple store uh, and it was for all intents and purposes I would say a failed launch so that was my experience on Apple 10s and 10s max and apple watch for uh release day didn't have my device um didn't get a notice much later in the day and i knew i wasn't going to get it on release day so now it's a day later september 22nd and i got an email at 8 30 in the morning saying that my device was ready to pick up um quite ironically the store app put a notification also on my phone that said your pre-order is ready to pick up uh, during your pickup window and I thought that was funny because my pickup window was the day before at 8.30 to 9. Anyway, went down there, picked up the phone and I got it right here in this bag. So let's go ahead and take a look at this iPhone 10s Max. Let's unbox it and see what else I got. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. We have the Apple sack, Apple bag, whatever. Um, let's see what I got. I got a iPhone XS Max leather case. This is uh, the taupe color, which I like. I think it'll go well with the with the gold. And here we go, the iPhone XS Max gold. Take a look at the packaging because Apple always, always has nice packaging. Um, and this is no different. It's a nice photo of the iPhone XS Max on the box. Uh, and it's covered in cellophane already. And what's cool about Apple packaging is they always have a quick way to open the packaging and it's always well protected. As you can see, there's a flap here with an arrow which is pretty much telling you to go ahead and pull that arrow. And let's open that up. And what's great is plastic just falls away. No fiddling, no cutting, nothing. As you can tell, I don't need my unboxing cutter for this iPhone uh, 10s Max unboxing. Good looking photo. Um, I really like kind of like the gold tone ink there that they use for the iPhone name and the Apple logo. And this is the, two, the 256 gigabyte iPhone XS Max. So as with all iPhone X unboxing, this is probably one of the best parts of it. Yo, 
opened it up. And as always, we have the literature that says designed by Apple in California. Remove the literature and there it is. There is the iPhone XS Max. Also, if you notice with the packaging, they make it easy for you to get the iPhone out. They have a little pull tab. You pick up the iPhone and there it is. That's a gold color. And this has been the first uh, iPhone that I had that is not either silver or black. Um, I had liked some of the past gold colors, but what I didn't like about gold colored iPhones in the past was they had the white bezel. Um, and I have my wife's iPhone 7 Plus here. She got the, I don't know if this was rose gold or pink, um, but anyway, typically what Apple did was they would have white bezels around the whole phone with the colored uh, cases. This is the first time that they've done a colored case, a gold phone, without the white bezels. And I like it so much better without the white bezels because it looks like it's just one huge screen. And for the first time, actually, it is actually one huge screen. Um, let me set that aside for a minute. And one of the nicest parts about unboxing a iPhone is taking the plastic off. Let's go ahead and do that. It's one piece. That's so nice. I always love doing that. And this phone is awesome looking. I really like the gold. And again, this is the first time I've looked at a gold iPhone and thought I gotta get that. The black and gold just, it looks great together. It's a good color combination. Let me set this down and let's take a look at what else in the box. We get the obligatory um, earbuds, oops, ear pods, sorry. And these are the lightning edition. I typically don't use these. I got a bunch of these because I don't really use them. I have AirPods now, which I use or other wireless headphones. So I got a bunch of these. Keep those in reserve in case I ever do need it. Um, a lightning cable for charging and the good old Apple power brick. Now here's, there were rumors that Apple was going to include a higher powered Apple brick. I think 18 watt was the rumor, um, fast charge, and it would be USB-C to lightning. That obviously didn't happen because it's the same old power brick they've been giving us. I really wish they would include a higher powered one because um, charging these does take a while, especially the plus size phones, because it's just a bigger battery. It takes longer to charge. Um, that's why I recommend getting one of these and a Apple USB-C to lightning power cable. This was on clearance. This is a 29 watt power adapter. I found it on clearance at Target, plug to Target. Um, and I got this for 19 bucks because it was on clearance. So I suggest if you're lucky enough to find one of these um, for sale, pick one up and also get the USB-C to lightning cord and you will charge your devices, these newer devices, much more quicker. So let's go ahead and put the box top back on and set this to the side. And let's take a look at the phone. The phone looks really great. Let's compare the size. This is the reason I grabbed my wife's iPhone away from her was so that we can compare the size of the 10s Max and the older. This is the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, the 8 Plus is about the same size as this and the size difference. I mean, they're almost exactly the same size, if they're not exactly the same size. And the only difference, the Tennis Max looks to be a slightly thicker. Let's see, yes, ever so slightly thicker, maybe. I don't have precision calipers to find out definitively, but it feels thicker. Um, but yeah, look at the, the front. I mean, we have bezels there. Let me turn this on. Hello. Holla. So, sorry. So if you if you look at the screens, I mean, the, the difference in screens is just night and day. Same size phone, but the size of the screen for the 10s Max is so much bigger. So we're gonna set this up with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, and I don't have my iPhone 10 anymore, but this is, was the case for it. Inside of it is a iPhone 6 
with a Apple case and I was able to fit it inside this Apple <laughs> Apple 10 case um, just for size comparisons. Um, that's the difference in size from the 10 and 10s versus the max. So that's quite a difference. And I do like the difference in the screen. I compared them in the store and the screen was so much, so much larger and nicer. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my old SIM in here. I have to grab it out of this because this was what I was using because I had to turn in my old iPhone 10 in because I'm part of the Apple upgrade program. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch SIMs and go ahead and run through the quick setup of this. So while we're waiting for that iPhone to finish setting up, let's go ahead and unbox the iPhone XS Max leather case. And this is the taupe um, color. And I think it's gonna be a color that I really like with the gold. And Apple leather cases are always nice and I always get one. Uh, this is the regular iPhone XS Max leather case. Um, not the folio version and this is a really nice case I really like the color um, it has that really nice kind of microfiber soft texture to keep your phone protected and since Apple makes it it always fits like a glove and I'm already liking the look of that don't even have it all the way in um, but yeah that's a good looking that's a good looking case See the hint of the gold there. Yeah, I like this case. I think that combination works great. So that's a good looking case. And that was the iPhone leather taupe. This new gold color on the iPhone is gorgeous and it looks great at any angle. The Apple 812 Bionic is the industry's first 7 nanometer chip to ship in a mobile device. And that display is big and beautiful. It is a 6.5 Super Retina custom OLED display. The resolution is 2688 by 1242 pixels. And that is 458 pixels per inch. And for those of us who use HomeKit, and the home app that just means more devices to fit on this screen at once this 6.5 inch retina display on the iphone 10s max is just the ticket for movie night on the go the colors are rich and vivid and like last year's iphone 10 is capable of viewing hdr content those annoying people you might come across in restaurants taking photos of food to post on Instagram. And when I heard of the camera's new ability to change the f-stop after the fact, well, I just had to try it during dinner. Yum, Xiaolong Bao. So after we got back from dinner, I ran to the backyard and took these pictures of some flowers we had back there. And the ability to change the aperture after you take the photo is awesome. I love the flexibility and sometimes the results can be stunning. Also, who doesn't love bokeh? So the iPhone XS Max is a great looking phone. I don't think anyone can deny that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of the reasons why I did upgrade from my iPhone XS Max, from my iPhone X, um, is I wanted not only just a larger screen, you know, faster processor doesn't hurt, but I wanted some of that large screen functionality back that we I had from the iPhone 7 Plus, um, which was my last large uh, iPhone screen. 
And I'm gonna demonstrate that. One of the simplest things is the horizontal uh, format. It doesn't switch for us on the iPhone XS Max like it does on the plus size phones. Um, I believe, you know, some of the apps work. I think Mail does. but not on the home screen. So that is one of the things I miss. And I hopefully, I'm hoping that maybe iOS 13 will bring that back because I really would like to use my phone in horizontal mode. So that is my quick review and look at the iPhone XS Max. I got the gold 256 gigabyte and it is a great looking phone. That thing is gorgeous. I love the way it looks. Um, now I was coming over from an iPhone 10 and if you're coming from an iPhone 10, your upgrade path may not be very clear, especially if you do not want the larger screen. Um, if that was the case for me, I don't know if I would have upgraded. Um, I'm not sure if the variable aperture on the new camera would have been enough to upgrade. Um, or even the faster processor. I might have just stayed put with the iPhone 10. But if you came from a plus size phone and went to an iPhone 10 and you missed that larger screen, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. So if you were like me and you had an iPhone 10, but you missed the plus size screen, um, I say definitely go out get you a 10s Max. And maybe even in this gold color. I really like this gold color. Uh, I was coming from a silver phone. I come from silver and black phones. Uh, but this gold really looks nice with that that screen, that large screen. So I highly recommend this color. I think it looks great. Um, the faster processor helps. It's again the first seven nanometer processor on the market now, and Apple was the first one to actually ship a phone using one of those. Uh, and again, the camera is great. I really do like that camera, and I like the variable aperture. I like being able to separate the subject more from the background and be able to kind of pick that after the shot. So for me, it was a worthwhile upgrade and the screen again is great. I'm gonna watch a lot of movies on this and spend endless hours watching movies on this iPhone XS Max. Um, that's gonna do it again for this short review. Uh, I have some clear cases I'm gonna look at in another episode. So if you wanna see what clear cases I think look best with this phone, make sure and look out for that episode. And as always, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, share the video if you want to, and please hit that like button if you found any of this information useful. So until next time, guys, please be safe and take care of each other out there. And I'm going to go and play with this new iPhone.